On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, using the stage display vertically instead of horizontally. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. Mostly ProPresenter, but still could be other software. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So on the uh, ProPresenter users group, which you can get to with over at Facebook.com slash groups slash ProPresenter users group, all one word, um, Someone had a question about turning the stage display from the normal horizontal configuration to vertically. Because in his church, he's got, or her church, I can't remember who it was, this person has columns. And so they could take a flat screen monitor, turn it up on its side, attach it to a column, and from the back, no one would be able to see it, but the pastor would be able to look over and see sermon notes. The worship leader would be able to see lyrics, etc. And so this person was asking, well, can you do that? Well, it turns out you can. So let's head over to my computer, and we'll take a look at just how you go about doing that. In order to do this, there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. First off, let's go into the ProPresenter uh, preferences here, click on display, and then let's go down here where it says system display settings. You can get to this in num any number of ways, but since we're in ProPresenter already, let's just click there, and you'll notice that I've got my standard. That's my stage display, that's my main output, this is my control screen, that's the way I like to arrange them. So the first thing I'm going to do is click Gather Windows, and that enables me to look at all three of them. I know that the Acer is the stage display. You'll see that I have this setting, Rotation. So what I'm going to first do is click on 90, then I'm going to get ready to uh, go down and click Gather Windows again. So here, click 90, and Gather Windows. Again, going back to Acer, I want to confirm that. The reason I did this all here is because I don't actually have my display moved to where it is rotated 90 degrees, and it's really hard to use my mouse over there. But just so you know, this is what it now looks like now. I could uh, bring that up a bit if I wanted to, to tweak it. So anyway, it's vertical now. So now I want to go into the display again and I want to configure stage display. First off, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here and you'll see that it's a normal stage display. Down below where you see the recording there's a little X right under here. So I'm going to click on that and that gets rid of that, turns off the stage display. If I'd been thinking I would have unchecked enable stage display. The reason I'm doing that is when I go to configure stage display, that gives me access to everything. And I want the current slide to be pretty big. I want the next slide to be pretty big. I got rid of nearly everything. I did put in the message because you never know when you're going to need that. But generally, I've kept this very basic. So now I can click here and we can tweak this. You'll notice that I changed the color here. That's because I want to make this just as simple as I can. So while it's showing the borders here, you'll notice that I have that unchecked here. I do have the message in here. I do have it set to flash a certain color. The downside of doing this is that the tilted sideways, it just doesn't quite work. So basically I'm maximizing all this. So you can see generally how this is going to um, be. I'm going to click on that to get rid of it and click on this X to hide that. Now I'm going to move this back over and enable stage display. 
when I do that, it actually looks good now. Now, you, you can't see that because it's over there off the screen, but it does look good. Now, I, as I was preparing for this, I noticed that sometimes that wouldn't set correctly, so you might need to move it back and forth a couple of times to make sure that that's in and click enable again, that kind of thing, just to make sure that it works. But that's really all there is to it. Now I can take this stage display and hide it behind a column if my church has that. Uh, hide it just in any place where vertical seems better. Now keep in mind as well, if we go back here and gather windows, that if you've already hung the display and it's upside down when you click 90, you have 180 as an option. Heck, you could even hang it upside down completely if there was some good reason to do that, and um, it would be completely upside down. Now, this is something else that I want you to notice is, um, so 270, sorry, is upside down but still vertical. Uh, gather windows, back to Acer, confirm, okay, so... 180 would be completely upside down. Don't necessarily know how why you would do that, but you might have a very good reason. Uh, again, let's gather windows, Acer, confirm. So you have some options here to make this work the best that uh, you need it to work. I'm going to go back to standard because this is, as you saw at the beginning, of, um, just my normal configuration with three monitors on my desk, and so it's much easier to work with like this. Um, you did notice, I hope, that when I was changing the arrangement, sometimes these monitors were getting off kilter. That threw me off at first, but the first time you rearrange them correctly, you should be good from there on. So keep that in mind as you're doing it. You take your display, gather windows, change the orientation. You might need to move your stage display to where you expect it to be, etc. But it's actually pretty straightforward, uh, just like setting up a stage display, just with this additional step of changing the rotation. And it works perfectly fine in ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you're starting to think, okay, I could put one vertically there, or I could put one horizontally there, and really, it's up to you. So, by all means, pick whichever works for you. If you like this content, head over to my site, trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter and sign up for my email newsletter and there I will send you a link to either my ProPresenter 5 or ProPresenter 6 introductory course absolutely free um, and some other great church tech things as well. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.